Good afternoon, and welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 834, and I'll tell you more about all that stuff in a minute. Um, and the topic today is going to be an interesting one, and it might confuse you from the title, but I will explain, which is, if you don't know what you want, you often get what you don't want. I'll explain why this is good news. I'll explain why this is good, but it is good news. Trust me, I'll explain all about it in a moment. Before I jump into the topic at large, let me sit better on the camera. That's close. Um, <laughs> different location than usual. I'm cat sitting for my friend this weekend, so I'm out in different venues. So doing it daylight outside where it's a bit more light because I don't bring my lights with me today. I'm getting ahead of myself. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Barry Selby. Welcome to my broadcast. You haven't seen you haven't seen me before. Um, I am an inspirational speaker, love and relationships expert. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also the author of the best-selling book, 50 Ways to Love Your Lover, a book for singles and couples, men and women, a book I highly recommend because I wrote it. I'm also <laughs> help women create balance in love, life, and business. I'm a passionate champion for the divine feminine, which informs my work with women, but also what inspired these talks starting over almost three years ago now, called Messages from the Masculine, Inspiring a Feminine Heart. So today, after many, many talks, I'm at episode number 834, and every one of them is different. Strange how that works. And so the topic today is an interesting spin on something I've talked about before, but I think I might approach it from this angle. Thanks to a talk a friend of mine gave this morning in a separate Facebook group. Thank you, Katie, for that, by the way. Um, the topic today that that talk inspired me about was, if you don't know what you want, you often get what you don't want. And this is why it's going to be good news. Bef <laughs> I'm thinking, how long do I dangle the carrot in front of you going like, what do I do with this? How do I explain this? How do I handle this? So here's the thing. You may be aware in your life, because I certainly was for a while myself, that oftentimes things would happen in my life. Things would happen to me. I'm using that in quotes for a reason in a moment. I would have these situations where I didn't get what I wanted. In fact, I got something I totally didn't want, and it really basically pissed me off, just to be transparent. You may have, you may have had the same experience. Thankfully, along the way, I got some clues and some indications, which is really what formulated my journey and I can now help you with. Because the thing is, when you don't know what you don't want, it sounds like double negative, but the reality of what it is, is you don't have any focus, you have no guidance. It's almost like driving aimlessly without even being on the freeway, like you're driving through the desert, off-road, no, no direction whatsoever. You may end up where you want to go, but it's slightly more likely that you'll end up where you don't. And that's the thing, is that it sounds bad, it sounds dramatic, it sounds horrible, but what I'm actually getting at here is that it's gonna get you um, inspired or triggered. <laughs> well, inspired or perhaps depressed, inspired or perhaps sad. You see where I'm going, there's two different paths here. When you get to the point where you're fed up doing what doesn't work, basically when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, as it's one of my teachers used to say, is when you might think about doing something different. In fact, you might find yourself wanting to change. And that's the good news. If you're in a situation, and this, I'm going to use this as a relationship flat, flat format, but it could also apply to jobs, to where you live, to family dynamics, to the school you go to, to the politics in your country, to any number of things. Because it's like when you don't know what you don't what, when you don't know what you want. I did say the wrong way. Long, yeah, I said the wrong way around earlier. When you don't know what you want, not when you don't know what you don't want. That was that that wasn't what I meant. When you don't know what you want, you get what you give. You get what you're given. Basically, it's almost like. Um, I say, is it Oliver? I was thinking about Oliver Twist, and if that was true in that case, no, it wasn't. That's the story. So let me come back to it. So when you don't know what you want, anything that shows up could fit on your radar because you don't have clarity. And this is the thing I want to speak to: is that there's a um, dis mm, disjointed, there's a disconnect between you and what you really want because you don't have any focus on it. I created a program three years ago now called Attract the Man You Want for women who want to attract amazing relationships. Because most of the journey that attract the man you want is getting clear about what it is you want. Because when you don't know what you want, you tend to get anything. And here's the thing. It's kind of like, um, oh, I'm sorry, lots of different uh, memes and quotes are downloading. So one of them is, um, if you don't know where you're going, any place will do, because you don't have clarity. It's also, um, in, in nautical terms, about if you're on a ship, is you don't have clarity, you don't have a map and directions, any port will do. Same idea, it's basically is that anything's okay, even though it may not be what you want. And if you've experienced your relationship experiences particularly, but also in business, 
in other things where things happen that you didn't expect. I have, just to speak transparently about my career path, most of the jobs I went for weren't jobs I was really clear I wanted. I didn't have a clue at the time about the law of attraction or intention or any of that sort of stuff. So I ended up in jobs that may on the surface look like they were okay, but six months, two years, ten years into the journey, sometimes I held out a long time, I ended up in a place I didn't want to be. Now, I didn't know what I wanted until I saw what I didn't want. It's also like the idea, and this is actually law of attraction stuff, just so you know, you know what um, Esther and Jerry Hicks talk about with, get with Abraham, or she's like Abraham speaks through them. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about is the thing called contrast. When you find, when you get the things you don't want in your life, you start to get some clues, some hints, some feelings of what's not lining up for you. That's good news. As I mentioned, this is good news and I'll explain why. When you get what you don't want, it's going to feel something like distressing, painful, upsetting, um, disappointing, any range of things you're going to feel. And ideally, you're going to realize it's not what you want. Now, when you get clear about what you don't want, you start getting clear about what you do want. And this is the, this is the switch, this is the shift, this is the, um, the paradigm shift. I was gonna, it's not this one, yeah, sorry. A friend of mine, a friend of, <laughs> a friend of mine who, who's, who does uh, American Sign Language talk, showed me what's the sign for paradigm shift. Visually, it makes a whole lot of sense. So hold on to your hats. This is the, this is the, the no pun intended, this is the, f the um, Sim, the sign language symbol for paradigm shift. You get it? You understand that? That's a game changer when you start thinking about it because paradigm shift literally is a shift in your consciousness, a change of your mind, the way you think, the way you do things. And that's really about getting clear about what you want. If you're in a career that doesn't feel like it lines up for you, then you're starting to see the things that don't work for you. So you know it doesn't work. If you're in a relationship where you're not getting what you want, you don't feel supported, you don't feel loved, you don't feel what you want, you start to get clues about what it is you really do want. So again, any environment this can apply to. I use relationship because that's my speciality, but it works for every area. So again, first of all, get clear about what it is that's not working for you. Find out what is troubling you and then realize what the flip side is. This is actually the first week of my um, Track the Man You Want program is getting clear about what doesn't work, specifically, painfully, with absolute clarity. Because when you do that, you can then start figuring out what the inverse of that is, what it is you really do want in those areas. And you start making a list of all the positive things from all the negatives. And by doing so, you start to focus on what you do want. Now, I'm not promising you're gonna get what you want immediately, but it's the first step. And when you understand that what you're going for is intentional now, so instead of being a place where you don't know what you want, so you're getting what you don't want, you start saying, I know what I want, but when you don't get it, you start fine-tuning because now you're starting to get on course. And this is the thing, it's having this understanding that you have this place where you can grow and step into it, a new place that is freedom, the new place of paradigm, a new choice. I'm gonna bring that in, okay, I'm gonna bring that in. One of the challenges with this is that we get comfortable. We get used to a way of doing things, we get used to a way of um, suffering through because we're not getting what we want. I did, a face, I did a Facebook Live in a private group this morning about um, the cow path analogy. And I'll use it here because it seems to fit. We get comfortable and we get used to what we're experiencing because, we get, because it's familiar. If you're not aware of this, it's quite often the time you get into a relationship where it doesn't, it doesn't work for you, but you get put up with it because it's familiar. Or you get into a career, a job that is okay, pays the bills, but you don't like it because it's familiar, it's comfortable. This is the cow path mentality in here. Yes, the cow path mentality, I'll explain what I mean. In farmland experience, and I'm not a farmer, but I'm just going to give this analogy, there are things called cow paths. And cow paths are simply places where cows have found the same place to walk through, like through the forest, through the meadow, wherever it is. And so over time, the cows have trodden the same place, the same path, the same direction the whole time. So the cows have actually created a furrow in the grass, in a, a path where there's no grass growing anymore. In fact, it's now a dirt path because that's where they walk down. Now, you know, people, when, people, when hikers go through or farmers go through, they tend to follow the same path too because it's the familiar, easier, default path. That's happening in your mind too. When you don't have, oh sorry, when you get used to or get comfortable with what's not working, you start to create a furrow in your consciousness. It's in your neurons, in fact. When your synapses, where you have a, a cow path through your brain, metaphorically speaking, 
where your familiarity with this keeps you in the same place. So by having this desire to create a new choice, we're flipping from the negative to the positive, that isn't going to be familiar yet and it's going to be uncomfortable and you're going to tend to default back to the old way of doing it, which is why you don't always get the new results immediately. It takes time. The way to change that is to change the cow path in your head. That's the deeper work which comes from coaching and other things too. There's things with NLP and past integration and other skills I use in my coaching. I didn't want to get too technical. But there's ways you can do things where it realigns the cow path, like shifting it to the new direction or shifting it from this direction to that direction. So if you're going the negative path, you're going to default there because you sort of fall into the rut. You fall into that groove that keeps going the same way. What you're going to start doing when you have a new vision is start creating a new path, a new groove, a new rut, so to speak, that takes you where you want to go. Easier said than done, to be transparent. I've had a few, more than a few transformational experiences over the years I've done this work to see how it takes time and, and sometimes transcendent, ex transcendent experiences to shift the paradigm from the old to the new. Sometimes it's trauma-based or, tra or, or um, suffering-based. Sometimes it's just so powerful you want to shift in your direction. That energetic um, potency is what shifts it more quickly. If you're just trying to shift from the cow path you had before to the one you're going forward, there's no juice on it, it's going to take a long time. I just I jumped ahead and skipped into it. Okay, you're catching up. But if you get a clear sense that there's a tragic, a tragedy or, or a trauma or a pain that keeps you in the old groove, that's going to be a much visceral feeling that will push you out into the positive. And again, if you have a clear vision that is so overwhelmingly exciting, so powerful, so potent in the way you want to go, then you'll shift into where you want to go as well. So it's the level of intensity, the amount of energy, which again, that's kind of the level of attraction piece, is you raise the vibration, so to speak. But with coaching, it's easier to shift over from the old path to the new path so you can start creating what you really do want. So clarity of what you want and visceral energetic to move you there are two of the big components, awareness first, by the way, so three, to get you where you want to go. So I hope this is making sense to you because this is fundamental transformational work in your life for relationship, for career, for family, for health, for anything, because it's all in here. And everything out there is stored away in some format, some filing system in your brain. And if you don't change the way you file things, nothing will change out there. I think I made my point. <laughs> I wanted to get this out because it's been on my mind for today because I said I saw it, heard about it this morning. So again, thank you, Katie, for the inspiration for this. If you've done the work along the path, you know some of these skills already. If you need some help along the way, I can help. I'll leave links in the comments for you to get some help, which basically means my book I mentioned. Um, I'll, I'll put a link in for the Attract the Man You Want program for the ladies who want to get clarity on what they want to do because there's a powerful program. This is the first step I just mentioned. Um, third, I'll put a link in the comments to have a conversation with me, a complimentary chat as my gift to you so we can work things out, see where you are, and give you some guidance where you want to go, and see if you want to work with me, just to be transparent. Um, and for luck, and for joy, and for supporting you. I put my self-love practice in there too because self-love is one of those cores that starts shifting the paradigm because again, you make the changes when you feel lifted up, when you feel inspired, when you feel motivated. When you start loving yourself, what you start doing is being less tolerant of things that don't work for you. Let me say it another way. When you really love yourself, and you start to own that love, which is why I'm putting up the self-love guidance in the, in the medita um, self -love medit guide and meditation in the comments, is because when you start loving yourself fully, when you start really caring about yourself, you make better choices. It's that simple. Self-love in, inspires your life. Self-love infuses your life. Self-love raises the bar so you change better too. So putting that together, everything I've spoken about, will accelerate your process to where you want to go. Just so you know, that was a big piece of truth I just dumped on your lap. So I'm glad you spent the time watching this. And if you jump to the middle, go back and watch from the beginning, please, if you're watching the replay. If you have any questions, please put them below. I'll respond when I sign off. This is my Facebook Live, by the way. I do every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time, seven days a week. Um, we, can, we can broadcast a more casual than this. I dress up for weekday broadcast, at least the shirt at home. Um, to find where you can watch me, first of all, my live is on my personal page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby. The replays go to my business page on Facebook, which you can like my page, which is barryselby.author. And then on my YouTube channel, which is where all the stuff gets put, I have all my replays on there, on my channel, which is Barry Selby, all my social media is my name. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, that's youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Barry Selby. You'll find the replays on there on the playlist called Messages from the Masculine. 
this nugget of truth is a juicy I'm going to be careful because a lot of vegan friends a juicy thing to do play with so take this on look at it inspire yourself use it and transform your life either with my help you can do it on your own but I recommend my help because I'm biased <laughs> and again there'll be links in the comments when I sign off so get clear about what you don't want sorry become let me start again not a whole thing be aware that you're choosing you're not getting what you want become clear what it is that doesn't you don't want start making different choices those three steps will get you on the path to where you want to go that's the shorthand of what I just said but I advise you to watch the whole thing from the start if you didn't Thank you for watching. I'll be back in tomorrow with some more juicy content. This is to help you have more love in your life, more joy in your life, more success in your life. If you want help, I'm here to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.